Turns out this whole area between here and the West Beach is about, um, it's probably about a half a kilometer by half a kilometer. Turns out that that is one huge honking great aquifer. So the water has a certain amount of particulate matter in it, organics, and it's got a lot of tannins. The tannins are kind of a shield which is there in the water and is, uh, you've got to get rid of those tannins if you're going to uh, guarantee that the water is safe for microorganisms. So raw water, treated water. So the raw water comes in here and then it goes into that second tank there which is the ozonator. So it breaks up the uh, uh, chemical bonds and things like tannins. From the ozonator it goes into that first tank over there which is the slow sand filtration system. The sand provides a substrate to support microorganisms. What the microorganisms say is great, here comes tannin molecules, I love it. And uh, you get an ecosystem in there that's really evolved to consume that material and to live on it. Now we can get down to business, we've got clear water. Now the rest of the job is easy. We just fire it through the UV blasters here. Uh, they irradiate it and uh, they kill, the, they kill the microorganisms, which they can now do is in, in clear water. The way we heat this water is for the most part from the generator. And you can see these copper pipes come into this room. They've come from where we last saw them in the generator room. So we don't have any septic tanks here. We've got an integrated sewer system that collects from every single building and takes it up to what is our municipal sewage treatment plant. So this is, I believe, nine chambers, huge. A major, major installation, the kind of thing that's probably a little bit overkill for this site. We've got an industrial computer that runs the whole process. Programmable logic controller is what it really is. We've got a whole succession of, of air pumps down here, and what they provide is aeration to the, uh, to the tanks we have out there, uh, which uh, allows the microorganisms to grow, and to feverishly consume, uh, consume the sewage. Out of the end of this process comes, comes very clean water, which we would be able to, if we wished, to just simply dump in a stream. But what we choose to do in, instead is we just distribute that fluid on uh, these uh, sand berms. Right now we're just growing grass on them. There's absolutely no reason why we can't grow crops on them. And uh, so we can, uh, we can use our water, we can use the open space, and we can use it more productively than we are. It turns out that um, we didn't need to build these berms. Everything could have happened at ground level. There were two uh, mistakes that were made. One, the engineer we had, we got meters and feet mixed up. So, so <laughs> I think he said two feet. We heard two meters.